25 past 7 in the morning and we're going on our training run before it gets too hot and um, we're going to do the Coral Plus ride we did the Coral ride yesterday and Earl's going very nicely I think he's very keen because he's getting fitter than he, he, he even was I mean he was fit of course but he's, he's uh, even fitter now and he and it's manifesting itself not in any naughty behavior but it, he wants to go on any piece of grass I don't mean toilets <laughs> no, he wants to just run every time his feet hit a bit of grass especially if you turn round he's uh, very strong so I'm having to use the rain he won't listen on the voice Quite loud that. Thank you. Walk on. Walk on. Thank you. Walk on. No, steady. Walk on. Good boy. Thank you very much. Good boy. Yes, that was a bit loud, wasn't it? It was a bit sort of, I think because it's an older tractor, it was making a bit more of a pistony sound. <laughs> That's the right word. <laughs> But he did well, I mean, he just got a little bit anxious, but I mean, he didn't bolt or spin or anything, so good boy. It's pretty good with um, tractors and that because, of course, he has gone out on a lot of um, hacks where you do you know, have to go on some road. So he's got used to that over these uh, five years. Beware of low lying branches. Good boy. Wait, good boy. Over, stand, stand. Good boy. Very good, because do horses. If you don't do gates they do have a tendency to rush through a gate um, this is uh, reactive horses I'm not talking about um, Apollo but reactive horses like for do tend to rush the gates if you don't make them steady down <laughs> and then they can catch your leg on the metal catch at the other side okay and canter on good boy nice into a steady canter which is very nice because he knows this is his galloping spot well he knows it's a cantering spot but he can sometimes pull a little bit and good boy that's all on the voice I have not touched the reins I haven't touched the bit with the reins shall we say that's all him slowing down he knows this is where he's supposed to slow down because I certainly wouldn't want him to trot over these but even so he responded well to the voice because sometimes he doesn't and you have to use the rein on that little bit so good boy for Oop. steady no no wait 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 till I tell you okay <laughs> I know, but this is my cantering spot. I don't have many cantering spots on this on this ride. It's more trotting. <laughs> now, see if he remembers. I'm not going to say anything, but he may remember to stop. Yes, look at that. 
and walk. I'll just add the walk in. But he knew, he knew that's a place he has to slow down. Didn't even say, did I? Good boy. I like that they anticipate. I know I've said this before, but I do. I think it's a sign of intelligence. And I know you can't have it in top level dressage and show jumping and all that, but for, for a mere mortal like myself that enjoys hacking, I think it's wonderful. You can certainly see how over the years the soil has been eroded with walkers and horse riders and just general weather and the roots have got exposed. It just makes it a little bit difficult. I'd like to see them just come down and put some soil on but or rake it from the top and put it down on but I don't think that would happen. I mean, that's just too much money I would say for people's wages to come and sort it out. obstacle course here, big route. To just He's much better at lifting his feet up now. When he was younger he stumbled an awful lot but then he had to adjust to my weight and uh, his his own uh, different balance with me on him. So he's, he's much much better now. Um, I won't say he never stumbles but um, it, he does it a lot less, a lot less, hardly at all. And Bella will be the same. She stumbles quite a lot at the moment, but then she's only just three, so um, and just learning to carry me and uh, adjust her weight uh, and balance. Oh, an interesting thing you might well, I think it's interesting. Um, you might not think it's at all interesting, but you'll remember that I always wash my horses with warm water. We're lucky that uh, the plumbers put in a hot and warm, cold water outside tap that works extremely well, even when uh, we're in the depths of winter, as long as you don't keep the hose pipe attached to it. We've never had a burst because it has a prop, uh, well, it's made with a valve at the top to release any uh, build up of um, ice in the, in, in the pipe work itself. Well, of course, I am now getting uh, Farouk used to being <laughs> washed. I aren't going, I'm not going to use a slosh bottle, as you know, but we're getting Farouk used to being washed with cold water. Well, <laughs> he doesn't think that's good. Oh no, proper Mr. Fidget now. Now I'm trying to wash him off at home with the cold water. Oh dear. I am using the hose, not the sponge. Um, but uh, yes, he's not um, not best pleased that a king of the desert, or I should say perhaps prince of the desert, because of course Apollo is king, being herd leader. <laughs> um, yes, okay, well, we'll try it. Um, yes, he's, he's, he thinks that's uh, not on. Not on at all. <laughs> no, I don't like it. He's, um, you can just tell by his fidgetiness and um, no doesn't want to stand there and have the cold water on him but I want him to get used to it and it's lovely warm uh, days at the moment slower okay he says yes I knew it was coming up for a cantering spot it's just hanging a wee bit to the left at the moment so I'm having to just push him over a bit with my hey, hey, inside leg good boy and walk, walk, good boy. As you see, it gets stony here, so that's why we always walk here. I try to protect his bare feet as much as I can. Um, obviously going on endurance rides on unknown areas and being, you have to keep within a certain time. Um, you know, I will always be able to just keep him on the grass because there won't be any grass. But, uh, I shall try and pick my moments. If I feel that it's too stony for his bare feet, we'll walk and then make the time up. This is what I'm thinking, because as you know, he's fast. So he could easily make the time up that we've spent walking. Um, and uh, that it's, it's, an, it's an average speed. 
so they only give you the speed at on on the novice anyway at um at the end so you, you get a time when you set off and a time when you come back so um <clears throat> that's that's my plan and um, maybe that we have to either um when he gets uh, further up in the levels to do uh, longer rides it may be that we have to get some of those uh, which look brilliant never use them but they look brilliant those hoof boots there are a few manufacturers now that make different types of hoof work I don't mean ones where we've always had them that uh, if they've got a, a soft a saw frog or something you put a, a hoof boot on but these are proper riding boots that you use uh, I would say probably for hacking and um, mostly for endurance so we might go that road if we have to or we may get Stephen to put shoes on him metal shoes um, it could be a little bit of a shock for him because of course he's never had uh, any hammering on his on his uh, feet uh, that's something that I would have to practice if we had to go down either of those roads but we're going to carry on and see how he does because I don't think there's a horse out there that has harder feet than Farouk if there, ha if there is great <laughs> but he does have very hard feet and the farrier always says uh, his feet are good and hard and uh, he hardly has to go to the farrier um, uh, because of the amount of work he does he wears the hoof down naturally all Stephen really has to do is put a, a bevel on and take a little bit off the toe if it's um, uneven if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon we love reading the comments we love emojis and we'd love a thumbs up if you would like to catch up on some of our older videos, just click on the Apollo icon, which will take you to our home page. We have over 1700 videos to choose from, and you can sort by the most popular, the oldest or the newest. Thanks for watching. TTFN.